this is such a cute little town and we almost didn't come. And I'm very glad we didn't come. This is supposedly the favorite of the house. So according to Mario, these are the best tamales in Colorado. Oh, there's the heat. Ooh. This is such a cool place. I love ghost towns. It's so cool because the street looks just like it would have back then. A Stein collection. This is like my dream. Caitlin, do you know what this is? Last week, we visited the highest city in the U.S., Leadville, eating the most delicious pizza, walking in the footsteps of infamous outlaws, and hiking to hidden lakes. And this week, we pop over the mountain range to the tiny town of Fair Play, where we take advantage of more free camping and take a trip back in time to the Boomtown days. If you're new here, we're Howard and Caitlin Newstate, digital nomads and full-time travelers who've been jet-setting and road-tripping for over two years. We spent the first part of 2020 RVing through central Mexico, quarantining on an island there during the initial COVID shutdown, and then heading back across the border to explore more of our home country. Each week, we bring you along with us to experience all the amazing places our little home on wheels takes us. We survived the very chilly night. We put towels underneath our slide so that the cold air doesn't come in as much and it definitely helped. It was a lot warmer this morning than yesterday morning in the RV. We are heading into the town of Leadville now to dump our tanks and get groceries and then we're heading on to Fairplay, Colorado. We did it. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights This is where we're at. So we're, we need to come up a half an inch, up a quarter of an inch, up a quarter of an inch, nothing on the other wheel. So we're not doing anything. <laughs> this is like almost perfect. So, cool. Yeah, I love the level mate. We're not even fully set up yet because we wanted to go out there and enjoy the sunset. So that's priority number one. I mean, look at this. There's Howard out there. Sriracha glazed salmon. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Bake it for like 15 minutes, and then you broil it for five. And since we have our convection microwave, you can bake and broil. So don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do fancy dishes in an RV. Ta-da. Let's see. So last week, you might recall, we mailed my best friend Catherine a power of attorney form because she is attempting to sell my car for me while we are all the way in Colorado and it's in Florida. So we got an offer from CarMax, which was great and we're gonna rid ourselves of this car and this car payment. It's been a great car, but it just doesn't fit our lifestyle. 50% of the time that we've been on the road, we haven't had the car with us. So it's just been sitting in Florida for almost an entire year off and on. And now that we've got a taste of flat towing versus towing with the dolly, I don't think we'll ever go back to towing with the dolly. So long story short, we actually have to have another form because I have a loan on the vehicle. We found this little place um, it's called the business connection here in fair play they charge three dollars for you to receive a package here something also to keep in mind if you're ever on the road and you're trying to get a package here's a, a viable solution is have it sent to some place they might charge you a little couple of dollars I've heard the UPS store does something similar and you can get your packages while you're on the road all right we got it so I'm gonna go ahead and sign whatever I need to sign and take it right back in Oh, they even included the envelope. <laughs> this CarMax in Tampa is, has been so 
helpful. Like doing this from afar is obviously not ideal, but given COVID and everything, like this was the best solution and they've just been wonderful to work with. All right, All right let's see. Sign here, sign here, mm -hmm. do that. Okay, Caitlin, this is it. You're gonna be saying bye bye car. Yeah, this was my first big girl purchase. I loved that car. But we bought the car before our V life. And it didn't have a picnic table. <laughs> or sweet interior like this. Yeah. We have spent most of the weekend working, but last night we did pop into town to check out uh, one of the local breweries. It's called South Park Brewery, and we got some food there and had a couple of beers. It was really cool. It's refreshing. I do get that subtle notes of banana. Uh, but we're definitely excited to check out more of the town today. We made it to Fair Play and there's two areas to this town. It's a very small town. So there's kind of like this strip mall shopping area. So we're hitting this place up first because we're gonna get tamales and do a wine tasting. So it's like a mini crawl featuring tamales and alcohol. Yes. And then we're gonna head downtown. Bad news. They were out of all the tamales except for cheese and jalapeno. So we got a cheese and jalapeno. So that means no uh, pork, chicken, yak, buffalo. I can't remember they all that. They had a lot. You had a lot of tamale so choices. They, they make them all during the week so that they have them ready for the weekend and then the mad rush comes in. So we were just too late for the tamales. We were too late on a Sunday. But we did get a green pork burrito. Yeah, so it's like a bean and cheese and green pork chili burrito. Yeah. So. Heavy. Oh, there's the heat. exploring and meeting people across the southwestern U.S. And during our visit to Continental Divide Winery in Fairplay, we met the awesome tasting room host, Sarah, who doesn't just pour wine in the area. Sarah partnered with another recent transplant, Margaret, to form Smart Bellies, an organization helping feed kids across Summit County. Each week, Sarah, Margaret, and a team of volunteers pack bags for weekly pickup at local schools. But during COVID-19, they've totally switched gears to actually deliver them to over 500 kids in need of healthy meals and snacks. We knew as soon as we heard about Smart Bellies that this was the perfect first recipient of the monthly donation program we include as part of the New State Navigators, our Patreon community. Each month, we not only donate a portion of all memberships, but match them dollar for dollar from our own pocket to help support the communities we explore. 
For more information on Smart Bellies or all the benefits of joining the New State Navigators, just check out the links in the description below. I'm excited. Oh man. This is such a cool place. The hill to the first building, which is the chapel. You can head out the back door and then the path is really well laid out. Because everybody knows ghost towns, everybody loves ghost towns. I love ghost towns. So this area was a huge boom town during the gold rush. But what happened after the gold rush was that all of these little mining towns were totally abandoned, leaving the buildings and homes and shops, everything in disrepair. They collected the historical buildings and actually moved them here and made the South Park City Museum. And there are seven original buildings, meaning that they're on the original site where they were. And so you can walk through and get a feel for what an actual boom Smokehouse. What kind of smokehouse? It's where you, uh, it's a house that contains smoke and you typically put things in it in order for smoke to get in them from the house. Like meats? Like smoked meats? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is where you smoke meats. Come here, take a look. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That was right. Yeah. So cool because the main street looks just like it would have back then. It's dirt and you can see the wagons right here. We can hook up our horse while we run into the store. And there's some lovely music coming out of Rach's place. So I'm gonna go check it out. I feel like this is every Western that you've ever seen where you have like the car table set up and you're just waiting for like the guy to bust through the door with the gun and then there's a shootout. Several of the buildings are decorated just as if the people are still living here today. So it's like they just stepped out and you're getting a chance to see exactly how they lived. Summer Saloon. So this is another one of the original buildings here and Summer was the last name of the brewery owner. So I guess this was his saloon. A Stein collection. This is like my dream. I want a Stein collection in my house. Well, top in the RV. We have one Stein, and that's the one from Oktoberfest from Munich. This is a very important building in a town when you got miners. This is where they would take the ore to determine its grade and its value, which ultimately is how they got paid. This is a warm house. The miners would come with their street clothes, their clothes from home, and change in their uniforms inside buildings like this. And the reason why there's a wood stove is because inside the mine, it was cold and damp and dark. And so this was a way for them to dry out their clothes so that way they were nice, warm, and toasty uh, when they would go down. Caitlin? This is gonna be your favorite. Yeah? Oh yeah, come take a look at this. Caitlin, look, it's a laundry collection. This is what it would have been like on wash day in 1880. I love doing laundry. This is not a joke. This is for real. This is so cool. And then behind you, look, it's an entire collection of different irons. <laughs> what? I, I like doing laundry, I don't like iron. But that's pretty cool. Look, see, so you'd wash it all there. And dry it. I mean, iron, mango, I don't know what mango is. It's a little outside my area of expertise. Oh, it's a Lexington 10 and one three quarter inch roller. So this is a ranger station and they were looking for men who could take care of himself and his horses under very trying conditions, build trails and cabins, ride all day and all night, pack, shoot, and fight fire without losing his head. You have a resume like that? Caitlin, do you know what this is? I think I know where you're going with this. This is America's first RV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Behold, the Winnebago version one. Look at that. It's got a stove. You got a bed. This is truly hashtag stagecoach life. That was really cool. That was amazing. Ghost towns, anyway, tops on my list. When you have a super ghost town, 
made up of many ghost towns by their powers combined. This was amazing. It was really cool. And all the artifacts and everything that's so perfectly preserved. Yeah, this is a definite uh, must visit if you're in this area. And it's only nine bucks. There's a coupon online. It's $9 for adults. All right, let's eat. which came highly recommended by two guys that we met at the winery and then they were over here and then they're going to the distillery which we're going to next. So something that I'm laughing about right now though is it is September 6th and we are sitting outside in t-shirts, the weather is perfect, it's beautiful. In two days the entire area of Denver and all these little mountain towns are expecting their first snowstorm. Like crazy amounts of snow. So we're trying to mentally prepare ourselves for that. Where we are right now we'll have over a foot of snow in 48 hours. What? After, I mean, today was 80. Yeah. Can I help you? Don't help, don't help. <laughs> Way more entertaining. Oh, baby. Okay, I am gonna help. <laughs> okay. You got it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How's your fish and chips? Well, good. Clearly homemade, clearly hand battered, delicious. I got a buffalo burger. Mm -hmm. This is how a burger should be. This is so good. Mm -hmm. mm. It's so good. This is such a cute little town. It's like a map dot, and we almost didn't come. I'm very glad we didn't. Mm. We finished the night across the street at the Snitching Lady Distillery, a small local joint with a lot of character. The bespoke cocktails were delicious and each one is handcrafted, so make sure you have time to spare while you wait for your masterpiece. Oh, man. Good. Next week, it's time for our appointment to become temporary residents of Mexico. Consulate of Mexico may not be open yet when you arrive. We share the details and results of our appointment. So we just came out of the Mexican consulate in Denver and guess what? Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications when we post our weekly videos. Guys, this is snowing. Thanks so much for watching.